Singaporeans have a legal right not to incriminate themselves during police interviews or interrogation. However, if they exercise this right, they may land in deeper trouble in court during trial. So what is the point of having the right to not incriminate yourself then? Hi, I'm Emravi. This is our second video in this series where we look at the erosion of our legal rights here in Singapore and hopefully stir debate on whether these rights should be restored or further strengthened. By the end of this video, we hope that you will have a better understanding of the legal rights you have or you don't have and thus be more able to deal with any encounters with the authorities in a more informed manner. So subscribe to my channel to receive our videos and share them with anyone who may benefit from them. The 2016 case of 14-year-old Benjamin Lim raised questions of police procedures which the Law and Home Affairs Minister addressed in Parliament. But it also raised the question of our rights during our dealings with the police. Benjamin was held and interviewed by the police for three and a half hours without any lawyer or accompanying adult before being released to his mother. He was being questioned over an alleged offence of molest. Later on, the same day, after the police interview, Benjamin Lim apparently committed suicide. According to the minister's statement in parliament on the case, Benjamin Lim admitted to the police that he touched a part of the girl's body and that he did so intentionally. Would the presence of a lawyer by his side to advise him on his right not to incriminate himself have made a difference to Benjamin Lim at such a time? We will never know. My intention in raising the Benjamin Lim incident is not to cast aspersions in any way but to point out that there could potentially be real-life consequences of not having immediate access to counsel and thus not knowing what your legal rights are during such times. How many of us know that we have the right not to incriminate ourselves? And even if we do, do we know what exactly would be incriminating and the consequences of exercising this right? You are bound by the law to tell the police or investigating authorities what you know of the facts and circumstances of the case except and this is important except that you need not say anything that might expose you to a criminal charge that is you have the right not to incriminate yourself however under section 261 subsection 1 of the same criminal procedure code an adverse inference can be drawn against you if you invoke your right not to incriminate yourself and remain silent during police questioning. The average person, I would argue, not being legally trained, would not know what information may incriminate him or her or indeed what is meant by incriminating evidence or information. Also, the police is not obliged by law to inform you that you have the privilege of not incriminating yourself. This is precisely why it is of utmost necessity if we are to give meaning to our legal rights that witnesses and suspects have access to a lawyer during police interviews. Their lawyer can then advise them so that they do not incriminate themselves. And do remember that you can be convicted on your statement alone without any corroboration from any other sources, meaning there is no specific requirement that your evidence must be independently supported. And while the police have to charge you within 48 hours of arresting you, they can detain you without a lawyer for a reasonable period of time. This reasonable period of time, however, is not defined or specified in our law and is left to the police to decide. In short, you have the right not to incriminate yourself but it can be a major disadvantage for you to exercise it. So, as you can see, we do need serious reform in this area 
to protect and give meaning to what is guaranteed by the Constitution. The right not to incriminate yourself is a basic right in countries from Malaysia to the United States. It is a right to protect and accuse from police abuse and coercion and to balance the state's overwhelming powers with that of an individual's. This is especially important in Singapore, where the police have almost unrestricted powers of investigation and interrogation. The right not to incriminate yourself, which include remaining silent during police questioning, reinforces the universal principle of justice, that is, the right of the individual to be presumed innocent. So tell me what your views are on this issue by posting your comments below. Have you or anyone you know been interviewed by the police? Were you aware of your right not to incriminate yourself? Share your views and let's have a discussion. In the meantime, do subscribe to my channel and follow my Facebook page so you will receive regular updates of our videos and news. Thank you and see you soon.